Are we live? We're live. Good. Hey guys, nice to see you again. Uh, I'm kind of very happy that the stream's working out because um, I was worried OBS was going to crash again. <laughs> but yeah, today I wanted to continue our little Planet Zoo adventure and really keep expanding the park. And it is very windy out today. I don't think my power is going to go out, but I've had a very uh, eventful day as my sewer backed up. It's better now. We got the situation under control, but... Yeah, I had to wake up to that this morning, but we're just here to game and have some fun. So let me go ahead and get everything up. Hey, Memphis, it's great to see ya. But yeah, <laughs> I'm just happy uh, everything's good now. So let me get the game pulled up here. Okay, I think we can see it. Oh, oh. every time I put my headphones on backwards. Okay, it's here. This should be the right way. Yep, we're good. Okay. <laughs> uh... Uh, good, we can see it. I always have to check to see, make sure on my screen over here that we can see everything. But yeah, John and me have done a lot off screen, not too much, just because I wanted to make sure whenever we spend time together, we love playing it too. So I work on our park with him. And yeah, so the big thing I really want to do and get done today is a beaver habitat. Now with this beaver habitat, Memphis brought up the idea of something abandoned. And I decided that it would be a really good idea for the beaver habitat to be kind of themed after an abandoned sawmill or abandoned timber yard. I felt like it would bring in that extra detail. But before we do that, somebody's texting me. Well, it's just my group chat. Uh, don't know what that's about. But I might as well introduce you to everything that me and my brother have done off screen. We haven't done too much. So the big things I would say that we have done are... Okay, you've seen all this stuff, so I think we're good over here. Um, some of the things include some differently designed utility shacks that have been placed all over the park. These just simply have the water and electricity we need to manage some facilities. Not very detailed, just very minor things. Over here is an African type savanna area. You can thank my brother, he's the one who completely designed that. However, uh, over here is a terrace restaurant that's still under construction. I still gotta figure out the plans for that and eventually get it implemented. Ignore all these alerts. Eating guest food? One second. How dare people do that? I'm gonna have to. Oh, wait, we have no feeding animal signs. I'm gonna have to get. I think we need more security, is why. Let, let me get that tank here. Let me get some new security before we begin. How many security do we have? Let me check. We have three security guards. We'll probably use a few more just to make sure they're not feeding the animals. There we go. Okay. Anyway, the last thing that was different that I built is this brand new African themed area for maintenance, staff rooms, and also food. Like, over here, people can simply just come in, get some drinks and food, and borrow money from the ATM if they need to. Oh, it looks like someone got a delicious donut already. But uh, if you go over here, this is where we have our main maintenance. The what? Oh, that should not be sparking. I'll get a mechanic on that immediately. But uh, yeah, we have our water and electricity facilities. Over here, we have the brand new areas, which simply facilities having significant negative effect, I guess, ignore that. We have like the staff room, the keeper huts, the vet lab, and also the surgery. Just basically, I wanted to include a little facility. I really like this little steeple right here. But yeah, we built that in the African area. I built it because I thought it would look really good. But yeah, today is the main focus is to go over to the beaver habitat and build that and hopefully get the designs that we are looking for when it comes to that building. Something interesting I do like is that we have included a little hut. Well, I built this. This is a little hut that goes along with, as you've seen before, our moose habitat. So I really want to build something similar for the beaver habitat and design it appropriately. Man, yeah, I'm thinking about making this entire area there because part of the beaver habitat is I want a waterfront. And the waterfront is going to simply have a dam, like a cool, a really cool design dam. But first, we got to get the barriers built before we can do anything. Now, personally, I think what we can definitely do is I think we should use a transparent barrier. So in the game, there are programmed transparent barriers. Basically, they're invisible barriers that you do not see and basically allows you to design anything you want to, you know, make it work. I think it might be interesting, but We'll see what we can do. So this invisible barrier will simply, actually I think I should just copy what's over here just to make sure it's all similar. So what do we have over here? We have 
concrete wall, and this must be iron fencing. Or is it electric? Maybe electric. That's probably what we need. It doesn't have to be too high, because beavers, they really can't escape their habitat. The only place I put the concrete walls along the areas where they probably, guests probably could not see. So guests are probably not going to be able to see along this barrier here, because there's that building right there. Okay, where's the uh, our length on this? There. See, like, guests are not going to be able to see on this side very well, so I feel like that would probably be the best place that we should include that to make sure that we have everything we need. So, along the other areas, I want to use a lot of iron fencing. Like, my brother used the electric fence. Now, we can use the chain link, but I think we might as well use something that looks similar. But there's also steel mesh. I think it would look better if we use the electric fencing. Just so we get that everything we want to make sure this habitat looks good. Why is there a waypoint right there? That's interesting. Okay, let me just build this out. Like I said, this is going to be a very, very different habitat that I've built before. Mature. I was just reading the thing up top just to make sure I know what's going on in my zoo. We've had plenty of things happen in the zoo that weren't good. <laughs> but they're better now. We, we do not let animal cruelty happen. That's kind of illegal and bad. We take best care of our animals here. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now that that's all built, I can finally build the gate to get people in. Let's see here. Let me just put this probably oh, here about here. I'll put some plants. I'll cover it up. Make sure it's not fully visible. Because it does look a little odd just having a... Why is guests happy? Oh, their education is bad. <laughs> I told my brother to put things. Uh, I told my brother to put the things in to educate people. I'll figure it out. It's no problem. Ooh, what's this? That's a canopy. A little tent. Cute. I might have to use that. Anyway. Let's see here. I was trying to figure out what we could add to clean this place up. I think we could probably use some lampposts. Where's lights in here? It should be under facilities. Uh, bins, benches, scenery, nope, guest facilities, utilities, staff facilities, animal exhibits, transport rides, media, and education. Oh, here we go, lighting. I want to put like a little lamp post to help illuminate this spot right here, just so the zookeeper knows where to go. I just hope none of these are too tall. This should work. Man, it is really windy out today. Wow, why is it so windy today? Well, I know why it's so windy today. Eh? <laughs> okay, it's here. I just want to put this lamp post right here just so the zookeeper can see where he needs to go in order to find his little spot. Now, we do have different lamp posts throughout the park, but this is more just for him to find the spot. I could put signage up here. What's this? Low welfare. What's the problem? Uh, nutrition is not good. Where's your meal? Um, let me go check your food quality. Where do they get fed? Where are you getting fed from? Oh, my brother. Why do you have to hide all the things? So many trees. It's accessible. Hmm. Weird. I think the soup... Think, have they not ate? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Disease animal. Oh, good. The vet's on that right now. Man, uh, lots happening. <laughs> I can manage. It's just a lot of work. Okay, back to what I was planning. So, something interesting I really thought about is I want to make a lower point of the area. So, we're going to play with a little bit of terrain tools. The intensity is going to be brought down by, like, a lot to do this. But part of it, I want to be... I need to bring up the intensity a little bit more. Part of it's going to be that this is lower than the rest of the area. It's not going to be significantly lower, but it's going to be low enough so that we can have a lower spot. And we'll have a waterfall. You'll see. Okay. I want this to smooth out. Okay, so flattened foundation. Flatten this all right here so it's all at the same level. We'll put some, like, rocks there to help make sure it's all good. Okay. Now I want to make a small... Like, not too big of a river, but I want to put, like, a little, like, lake right here that comes from the special area. 
Then we're gonna put a not so deep river leading down leading down to this area down here. It's not gonna be too deep because I need to put a waterfall in. There we go. I just hope it doesn't affect anything. I might need to raise this up a little bit to prevent that from happening. Let's see here, lower, decrease that. Let's bring that up. Okay. And then make this match the same terrain. Make this all match the same terrain. Smooth that out a little bit. Okay. Let's see how this works. Little big. I wish I could make that a little smaller. Delete the water. That's better. I like that a lot better. And now we need a waterfall. Now, I can't remember exactly where the waterfall item is. I know it's somewhere in here. Let's see, is it in special effects? Ambiance, water. Oh yeah, it is. Would you look at that? Now, the waterfall is going to be a little more hidden. Like, you'll see what I mean. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to increase this because I want the river to continue. Like right about here. So we're going to lower that. This way I have it in the right position. And we're going to lower the size of this. We're going to bring that river the rest of the way through the park. Just up to the wall. To create like a little, little spot for the water to collect. And look like it drains. There we go. And then I want to smooth this out a little more. Just to make sure that everything is the way it should be. Just smooth it all out. May need to lower the size on that. Because <laughs> beavers, they live in North America. Okay. Now that we got that, I do want to see if I could build a dam. <laughs> Okay, where's my water? I put it under somewhere. What the heck? I think I left it outside. I'll be right back. Every time, it's either something happens with my water, and I always have to deal with it. Bye. I didn't know my brother was home. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> uh, alrighty. So, back to what I was saying. I really want to build a dam type facility. So I think under construction there should be some sort of plank that I could place. Maybe some structural props? Yes, structural... What just happened? No! Planet Zoo just crashed! No! Oh, my OBS is all acting weird now. Can we see anything? Okay. Everybody stop for a second. Oh, no! Ah! Uh, the game just crashed! No! Oh, no! Um, here, let me get it pulled back up. <laughs> I can't believe the game just crashed! I don't know what happened! Your GPU driver crash has detected well... No, no, you don't... You don't need to turn on extended debugging. Not now, at least, until I figure out why the game crashed. Oh... oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just too funny that the game crashed. Oh, no... Did I do something wrong? <laughs> okay. I'm deeply sorry for that. Ah, uh, that might turn into a short later. Okay, we can see the game. I don't know when it lasts autosave, so we're just gonna go off the autosave. Uh, <laughs> I did not expect that to happen. <laughs> It's too funny. It's too, it's too funny. Okay. Let's let the game reload up. Uh... Okay. Uh... Oh, good. It saved our little area. 
I guess it didn't like that I was trying to figure out how to build a dam. Okay. Now that we're back, <laughs> let me go ahead and find the pieces I was talking about. So I was looking for a structural prop that looked like, kind of like, ooh, this will work. These long wooden, these long wooden planks. I think these could work out wonderfully. Okay. We're all good now. Now can I turn this thing sideways? I can. I'm just happy. We're back. Everything's good. <laughs> uh, sometimes you just need a good laugh about your imminent failure. I didn't mean to place that there. Oh my gosh. Bring that back over here. Okay. So this is obviously going to take some very meticulous building. But honestly, I think a dam is something this area is going to need. Now, the problem is, I got an achievement. Build a habitat with 30 animals in it that have welfare over 75%. Okay. <laughs> I just got an achievement out of the blue. Or maybe we should use these log. Or maybe she mixed the logs in. Like, there's some log pieces. I mean, I think the wooden dowel poles are best to use for this. Now, like, the hard part, like I said, is going to be orienting these to be on their side. Because you got to, like, tip it. And you got to move it around. We might have to put the water a little closer. Yeah, let's... Now that we have the spot, like, marked, let me bring the water a little closer to it. Not too close. I'm not making any fatal mistakes here. Oh, because there's water. Uh, remove the water. Okay. Let's bring it really close up to this, but not too close. And smooth it out a little bit, because beavers don't really have heavy spots they have to really walk into. There we go. Okay. Bring this back up to this position so it doesn't block. Okay, there we go. Alright, we need to smooth this out. Smooth it all out. There we go. I am shaking my entire setup. A dangerous animal has escaped. Oh, wait. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where's the barrier? What? Call the vet. Somebody repair the barrier. What? Mechanic, mechanic, come now. Why is there trash everywhere? No. The barrier is gone. No. Oh no, this isn't good at all. I, I gotta place trash bins. This trash is bothering me, but the animals have escaped. That's not good. Now. Folks, please dispose of your trash. Where is that dang maintenance guy? I don't need any other animals escaping. Oh no. Oh. The giraffe escaped too? How did you get out here? What? What? How did you? How did you? Vet! Vet, please! How did you get out? Oh no! Okay. Okay, that barrier is fixed. Thank goodness. Oh, oh the animals escaped. Oh, oh no. I trust me, this is never. Important attention required. What? The giraffe, oh, I have a vet on that right now. Where is the vet? Okay, she's, he's almost there. Please, take the giraffe and put him back in the exhibit. I, I don't- Oh wait, that's a tranquilizer kind. I'm like, I don't say put it down. <laughs> okay. Situation under control. Uh... That was not supposed to happen. But we're fixed now. Back to the fuck. That wasn't right. 
That's right. Uh, one second, please. One moment, please. Orly, come in now. Hello, everybody. Uh, uh I just wanted to qu ask questions about the basement real quick. Okay. One second, please. Um, okay, uh, making here about this is fine. So what do you need to know? Why? Okay, so they cleaned, obviously. Yes, it's all clean. Was, did it back up more? No, the fan is there to make sure it just stays dry. People said they fixed the pipelines so we're allowed to use everything. Just get, I'd say just keep it down there for at least a day and then we'll remove it. Okay. Also, what are you doing home? I had to stop home real quick. All right. To get my lunch for tomorrow for work and stuff and all that. Okay. But, um, so nothing backed up. It's just out of precaution. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all fixed now. We're, we should be good for now. Because I thought they cleaned down there. That's why all the rugs and stuff were moved. They did. The rugs got... The toilet leaked. Like, the downstairs basement toilet leaked because it was coming from some sort of backflow. And that's why the rugs are hanging up. They're drying. Did I they got, wash them or something? No, not yet. But we should wash them. And I have them off downstairs. Like, okay. All right. That's all I need. Oh, Thank what do you, you think of the beaver habitat? I'm working on the dam. So oh, it looks good. All right. You'll see the finished product later. Goodbye, everybody. He thinks it's so much cooler than me. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Okay, we're back. Get myself back into mindset. We're there. Why is there another animal alert? I don't need to deal with this. What? Low welfare? Okay, I think we're fine. Okay, just... <sighs> Life is very rough right now. <laughs> Okay, let me repaint the grass. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right, here comes the fun part, figuring out this dam. So this is gonna probably be the thing that takes me the longest, but it's no problem. I'll get it figured out. I'm just more disappointed in myself with uh, letting the animals escape, because that's not good. It's never good. Okay, it's here. Click off the water. I don't need the water right now. Okay, where... Okay, here we go. Facility has significant negative effect on... Get... Oh, okay, we don't need to worry about that. That's not what we're worried about. <laughs> Once I get a few pieces placed in, I'll be able to just copy-paste them all over this. And I'll just be able to use them over and over again to help make this wall barrier. Okay, there we go. Right about there. I have a really good idea on how to make this work. Like, a lion is about to die of old age. Please tell me that's the male lion and not the female lion because I don't need incest. And don't ask what that word means. It's, uh, it's not good. Okay, let's see here. Where's my West African lion civilian? Oh, over here. Who's dead and who's not? Because a bunch of them are sleeping. Yeah, I almost had a heart attack. Uh, okay. Which, I can't tell which one is dying of old age. Which one of you is dying? Uh, you're young. You're young. You're, you're old. Um, oh. Found it. Probably should get another female line. Let's see, right? I don't want to risk anything. All right. West African lion. Let's see here. There it is. I need a female to the park ASAP. There we go. Another lion on the way. I feel like there's just this thing that's trying to prevent me from doing what I want. Have a juvenile lion be born in the zoo containing at least 10 species. Why? Another lion's gonna die! Oh, I'm getting angry! Okay, it's here. I need this piece, and I need, I need this piece, this piece, and this piece. There we go. And we're gonna copy and paste this multiple times to build up a dam. Isn't that lovely? That's what the best part about this Planet Zoo is and Planet Coaster is just having this ability to copy pieces that you want to make everything look really cool.
And this is gonna look really cool for a dam. Obviously, I'm gonna add some stick outs, make it look really nice. My brother never built a dam for the beaver, so I really thought it's obvious beavers have to have a dam. Because that's what they do, they build dams. Now, isn't that like where they live? At least, let it be known, I am not a biologist. I know nothing about animals. You would have not been... <laughs> uh, I do not have the patience to like put every piece individually. Mm. Mm. Okay, got my water. I'm probably gonna run out of it and start drink, trying to drink it again. Mm. But yeah, I'm happy that whole uh, wastewater problem got dealed with because I... That was a lot for me to handle. And let it be known, that happened right before I went to class this morning, so... It was just like, uh... Yay! <laughs> but my grandparents came up, they helped everything. I am very grateful they came up because they spared me a headache. <laughs> okay, those alerts are not animals. A lot of animals are getting offspring. Oh boy, that means more for me to manage. Problem is, I gotta make sure overcrowding does not happen. Okay, let's see her down. Man. I'd just be pulling my hair out right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Like I said, it looks really flat right now, but it's gonna... We're gonna add some detail, make sure it looks really good, maybe some fallen trees, stuff like that. Make sure that this is more just to get the baseline for it, get like the overall shape of it, and then we'll be adding more detail to it. So like that's the main shape of it. And now we just gotta add the extra thing. So I believe there are some like fallen or dead tree objects. <laughs> that's not one. <laughs> Here we go. This is what I was looking for. All we simply do, take that. Flip it on its side. And we need to move this over. Make sure it's lined up. I guess there which axis is right. I think like that's good. Then you move it into place. No, I didn't want I I didn't want the second tree. Okay, it's here. Oh nope nope nope. Oh my computer keeps shutting off. <laughs> I'm very thirsty, okay? <laughs> the problem is my mic picks it all up and I get and like I'm like ugh when I, one time I was listening back on my play moves this about and breathe no 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 I'm not dealing with this again Okay Alright Stop Who's related here? Okay. <sighs> Release the animal in a little while. That's probably what we need to do. Okay, we have two female moose in here. We shouldn't. Uh, I think that's the one we need to release in a little while. There. I think we're safe. I hope. <sighs> Yeah, it's going to be a really good perk. Um, how do I explain this without making it inappropriate? So, inbreeding means, um, I wouldn't say look it up. It's basically two animals making children. It's two animals who are like siblings, cousin, father and son, any of that that are making children with their family. It's very bad, as it's not only wrong, inappropriate, and many other things, but it's mostly bad because it can lead to serious medical issues. I do really didn't want to explain it, but I guess I have to have this uncomfortable conversation. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. It's, oh boy, this just makes me scared that when the one day I have my own kids and, I, and they're like, what does the birds and the bees mean? And I'm like, okay, we are not having that conversation without your mother. Like that kind of situation. 
Let it be known, I get very uncomfortable when talking about stuff like that, so that's why it's really hard for me to phrase it. Oh, boy. Okay, let's see here. How can we improve this dam some more? I think we could use some more pieces. I think we could use some assortments of wood, like maybe some planking in there. That'd be really interesting. Just like we move some planking. Not, not, they won't be exposed like the other stuff, but it will be like seen. This is mostly just to help clear up some other space and get this put in. Like so. I also think I make a really cool bridge for later when we, I think in a bridge would be something that would be very true. Let's see here. Let me move this in. Let me move that down a little bit. Yeah, like that. There we go. This is mostly just to help cover up some of the gaps. Yeah, that looks pretty good. We can also sneak them in places like here. Just to help make it look like it's connected. And rotate. This is tedious, but it's fun. It's a really unique detail that I am willing to put the time and effort in to make for this little peptet. Yeah, I do. Uh, it is. Uh, here she is. And this, well, this is a photo of her. I love her with all my life. How did you know? Did you get? Did you just ask the question, or did you know because of? I don't know. Do you think I'm cool? <laughs> Let it be known. I feel like I'm a massive dork, but. <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Um, all right. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see here. Uh, where's those planks again? So we got the planks in. Let's add some more. Facility has broken down. Great. Just what I want to deal with. We could also put a tree fallen over here. Like so. To help clear the spot up here. Just move it in so it's not like exposed root. There we go. Is there any other dead trees? Should be some others that I could use to help really make this detailed. Yeah, there's a ton of dead trees. There's stumps. There's short ones. I think this would help too, like mixing in some of these trees. Just hide the... If we hide the roots and mix in the tree, it'll add some really good parts to the dam. Okay, we just put like that, move it in, rotate up, there we go. Okay, let's see here, what else can I do? Got this tree. Okay, let's spin that completely around. I think this is gonna look like a really cool dam once I get this done. And my brother's gonna be very impressed by it. Yeah, that looks good. Adding those extra trees in are really helping with the detail. It's here. Let's bring that in. And, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened? <laughs> it just flipped one way and then flipped the other way. Okay. That was weird. <laughs> okay, it's here. I see a blank spot that I do want to fill in. There we go. Just need to angle it a little better. I know beavers are probably... It do, I don't know if the beavers hate this kind of tree, but this is mostly for detailing reasons, not for welfare reasons. We can also add some rocks, but I think I should wait till the beavers actually get moved in here before I add nature stuff like that. Kids here, let me see if I can move a piece in there. Should use a wooden dowel. If I can just angle it at the right angle. That's not that's not where I wanted to place it. <laughs> Kids here. Give me that. Oh good, an ostrich is about to have an offspring. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Alright, that needs to be moved in there. Tilt it a little more. Move it in. 
And then we angle it, angle it down. There we go, I just need to fill that gap. Looks pretty good. I might add some extra detail later, but I think that's good for now. Now, the big thing is I need to actually get the beavers in here. Where's the slope button? Um, let's see here. I make sure to smooth this part out so beavers have a way to get down there. Let me bring up the size on this. There we go. I just want beavers to be able to walk down here. Just because this is meant to be a little walking area for them. Okay. That's a good dam. And now I need to figure out what we're going to do with the abandoned sawmill vibe. So I'm thinking about getting some, like just some basic structures built. Maybe a bridge over the water. Yeah, yeah, that'll be a good idea. Who's texting me? Oh no, it's just my watch saying get off your lazy butt again. I love you. <sighs> All right, let's see here. We need something old, but modern. Uh, stone, no, glass, definite no. Uh, that wood's a little too bright. That wood's a little too dark. Let's see here. One of these should be good enough to use brick. Oh, this will work. We just will have to change the color. Let me see if I can find for a color on this one. Let's see here. So I want something nice. Let's see here. I think we're going to have to be an orange so we can get a brown color. Ooh, that's perfect. Apply that. That is the perfect brown color. Now that we know which one we want. I don't need to hear about guests seeing our negative facilities. Yeah, I'm happy I have new sunrays. I like having more people chat. It makes me happy because I get to see all you guys creating a little community. It makes me happy, you know? And I also get more questions and all that. Okay, let's see here. Let's try and find the piece. Okay. So I'm thinking we could put a building over here. I just need to make sure it's angled correctly so it's not going to hit the wall. There we go. We can put a door over here. Oop. We'll put some fake windows on this to make sure it looks acceptable acceptable and I did not place these on the right side story of my life I also did not paint any of these the same color hopefully I'll be able to I think there's a button where I can literally highlight all of them and say paint this color okay let's see here um what's this button do right here clear selection Ooh, same palette colors okay can I just Yay, there is a button for that. Uh, look at them at Frontier. <laughs> oh, good. I'm happy it worked out today. Yeah, there's no problem with more with... Uh, see, the only reason why I do streams at the time that I do is because I have a... I have a college schedule and I'm not really good at nights as of right now because I have to get to bed at a certain time, otherwise I get cranky. So that's why I do my streams at the time that I do because that's uh, the only time that's available to me. My watch is going off again and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> but yeah, that's why I do these at these times. I'm happy to see everyone lined up. Like, I'm happy to see that. I am planning on like figuring out how I can make my streams and all this better. Like I want to make sure that everyone who likes my content will have access to my content and be there when they want to see my content. Because that's all the point is. I want to entertain. Okay, that should be good. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Aw, you know, that's very true. In my opinion, I'm more of a Mario guy. I don't know why. I think it's mostly because I grew up on that. <laughs> That's why I particularly grew up on. Why are guests not happy? They have like, okay, I clearly next, next live stream, I'm probably gonna have to include a lot more facilities. Oh man, I keep getting alerts about all the animals and keep scaring me that's gonna say something. I'm gonna be like, oh no, like that shouldn't happen. <laughs> Uh, Warthog expecting an offspring. Nothing wrong there. 
Okay, um, we should get a spot. Is this the same height? Is this the same height? Or is this the same pitch? No, this is the same pitch. Okay, I will repaint all those, don't worry. It's not gonna look like that. Man, every animal is having offspring. I know, I'm happy or respectful of my opinion. Like, that's something you can't get a lot of a lot of people these days. <laughs> paint them. Come on, come on, paint them all the same color. Where are you? Where? Paint them. Oh my gosh. Paint. Yeah, I selected tool of 33 objects. Paint them. Item does not have any flex color options. You're kidding. Did I place the wrong P? One moment. Also, I wanted to get rid of that. Just move that inward. What does it mean by item does not have... Okay, I'll figure that out. What? Okay, um, let me see here. It was like per- Oh, I grabbed the wrong piece. Ah, uh, I'm, um, I'm- I sometimes don't think things through. Okay, it's here. Uh, I need the wall piece. Okay, where is- the button, 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 button. Ooh, there it is. Right here. Okay. Uh, color, color, color. I need to make sure my color is right. There we go. Okay, now we can include these pieces. All right. Now we got we got everything figured out. Red alert, avoid it. What? The, what? No. It was stuck in one position. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can, obviously it looks a little too, like, lived in right now, but I'm definitely gonna figure out how to, like, make it look more abandoned, maybe add some weeds, stuff like that. It may not look good at first. I'm still experimenting, but I think I'll be able to figure out what I can do to make it look the best way it can. Okay, it's here. There we go, that's the roof. I'm thinking about an all-metal roof for this part. We can put a nice tower in the middle. Another tiger. All my animals are dying. I didn't do anything, I promise. Okay, let's see here. Looks pretty good. Could use, I think what it could help though is if these pieces were a little taller and had more of a pitch because I think that would help. Oh, I'm swiveling down in my chair. I could make it for the beavers. I could make them be able to walk around in it. I'll actually build them like a legit sleeping area, but I think I may make this more like uh, people can look back here and view them. It's actually, oh my gosh, <laughs> Memphis, you saying that gave me the idea of making a viewable area for this would be a good idea to put this as like a area for the beavers to live. Smart idea. And obviously there are fake windows and real ones. I'm gonna use some fake ones, but I'm gonna mostly use the real windows that come with the walls. Let's see here. Okay, let's see here. Okay, edit this structure, please. I need windows. Are these windows crooked or something? Is that thing tell then to put them on the ground? Yep, that's the plan. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Is there a window that is the right size? Okay, there's something like that. What's this? Glass opaque wall. Does that mean one side's viewable? I don't know. Uh, let me find the actual glass wall. All my animals are mating again. You can see it in the upper corner. There we go. They can see inside now. Anyway, back to what I assume. So, let's see here. I need these pieces. I think it just needs to be a little taller to address the height issue. 
Like so. Yeah, that's what we're looking for. Now we need to put this one down here. Yeah, that's what we want. The only thing left I want to do is just get another A-frame on this one, just so it, it fits in. There we go, that looks good. Do the beavers know the house will be for them? Or do they just squat in and take it over illegally? Well, I mean, technically all the animals here do take over the facilities by squatting, but we do put them there. <laughs> that's funny, That that's funny. <laughs> Well, this window would look work perfectly. What does this one look like? I think these would look good in the upper parts of the building. These windows also look really good, but I think we benefit most from these ones. So let's put these in black before I do anything. Black and black. There we go. Now we have that. They need power. Oh, I guess they have lights and then they turn on. That's cool. I didn't know that. Well then, let's go ahead and use these windows. Nice black windows. My watch is going off again. There we go. Just add in some windows throughout this area just to add some extra little detail to this little fake building. We can put some timber right there. There's windows here, we'll just put some up here and here to make sure that it looks like it's lived in. There we go. Now we need doors. The doors won't be closed, they'll be open since you gave me the great idea, Memphis, of uh, letting the beavers live in here. Classic old door. But it's not big enough. <laughs> okay, I need like a singular door. African door. And that one looks all right. Oh, here we go. Like stainless steel doors. That's what we need. There we go. That's what we need. Okay, let me move this in so it's normally closed. That way I can spin it to make it look open. And we simply move that into position. Next up. Ooh, there's there's like a giant animal cage door, which I think would be perfect for this side. Like, ooh, genius idea. <laughs> what if we were to like edit this building and if I grab the platforms, we can make like a little drop off area where like they would drop off the old wood load. I just need to find the concrete. There we go. That I think would be really cool, like having that little detail. And then we put the door in, and we'll obviously have to add something to make sure it looks right. But we add this in, and then we paint it to look like it matches the rest of the building. So we add that gray color to it. Let me uh, grab this. Oh yeah. That would be really cool. And we can add like a light to it to make it look kind of like eerie. <laughs> What's wrong with the animals? What's going on? Oh, low welfare? We're, we're fixing that. We're actively working on fixing the problem. Okay, let's see. We can put a little light above there. And a little light above maybe this door, just to make sure. There we go. Oh, my brother's gonna love this facility. He's gonna think it's so cool. I really hope he's impressed by it. I think he will be. Okay, it's here. Spin a little bit. Turn down. And move in. There we go. That's looking really good. That's here. The beaver be like, why so many windows? We'll probably get arrested for squatting. Yeah, the police just seeing there. The FBI, open up. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Now we need to add some plants to really make this look kind of old and run down. Now where are the weeds? Because I know there's like berry bush. <laughs> Those aren't weeds. Where are my wall weeds? Those aren't wall weeds. 
I know they're somewhere near. I just gotta look for them. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. Here are some like old wall weeds. We can also make it look like some roots are growing up against it. Let's see here. Can I s rotate these? Yeah, I can. Perfect. Just make it look like it's growing out several parts of the building. Like so. We'll just add some weeds to really make this place look like it's been old. I like this idea. Ooh, what if we put like some big old weeds coming out like from the door? Oh no, animal well, low animal welfare has attracted protesters. Uh, I'm gonna have to kick them out of my park. Hopefully they don't do anything they're gonna regret. Dangerous fighting. What? Fighting? Okay. What's going on here? I'm just trying to build this freaking habitat. Uh. Okay. What's going on? Where are my protesters? Where's the fighting happening? All right. Who's fighting? What's going on? Why is there two male on? Okay. Outsider. Okay. I think this one needs to be released in a while. Okay, I think that problem's fixed now. Okay, low welfare. I mean, they should have happy welfare. What's wrong with their nutrition? Last drink cleanly. Why is the water so dirty? No wonder they're having problems. Where are they at? I can hear them. Get out! Shoo! We're fixing the problem! There's... Why do I have a body of water when there's no water treatment plant? Okay, I'm just gonna set this nearby. I'll cover it up later with an American Pavilion style building. Terrain modification had failed. Can we move this out a little bit then? Okay, here we go. And we're gonna need a transformer. Okay, and we'll... Shut up, protesters! I'm working on it! There, the water's being treated now. Happy? Oh yeah, I should... Ooh, crocodile habitat. Oh, I'll definitely start planning that. Yeah, the water's dirty. I'm getting it clean now. It may take a minute, but we got the facility up and running. Just may take a minute. Okay, who's fighting now? Anybody fighting? Nope, they're just eating. I think we're good. Uh, you probably need to get sent released to the wild. There, that should fix that problem. How's the water cleanliness going? Okay, we're going up. It's getting clean. See, it's already changing color. Whew. <laughs> just like suck out all the water with a vacuum cleaner and just buy a bunch of Fiji wire and just <laughs> unscrew. Oh, need to fill it up. <laughs> it's the cleanest water. It should be fine. <laughs> okay, now that all the zoo problems are figured out. I can get back to my little project. Okay, next thing I want to do is I want to get these concrete floors. And I want to move them in here, but I want to move them down. So I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to move it in there first. Move it down to a point where we can still see it. Okay, a little bit up. Right about there. And then we just got to move it into place. Like so. 
just so we have that flooring in there. And then for beavers, let me go ahead and while we're here, we can put their little sleeping quarters in. So let's see here. Beaver. Oh, they have jet, jetty, like, oh, that's well, cool. And we can put some hay spots under here for them to rest in. Isn't that cute? A little spot under in the old abandoned building. Oh, that's not right. Is it peeking out the back? It's peeking out the back. Let me move it a little more. Get a little. There's like a sweet spot. There we go. Just found it. Okay. Back to making the old abandoned sawmill. We should make a walkthrough habitat with glass walls. I was thinking about that. I'll have to think about which one I might do. I might have my brother help me out with that. I was thinking about maybe an underwater area. Like there's otters, maybe making something like that. Or we could do an alligator habitat. Something interesting, but I could definitely do that. I just have to figure it out. Okay, what did I want to add over here? I want to add like some scenery stuff. Centerpieces, maybe it's under here. I'm just looking for like props. Those are I want. General props. Wheel? No. <laughs> not the wheel. That's not what we're looking Eggs. Eggs. <laughs> okay. Logs. This is better. <laughs> Let's see here. I just want to get some logs here on the platform. Just make it look like they're working. Oh, an old step ladder that could be put up against the wall. And lean that up against this. There we go. Make it look all nice and neat. Just make it look like it's in use. Okay. That's not the only abandoned building we're gonna have in this little sawmill. I might build another one over there. But I still need that. I think the weeds are good. We've added plenty. Definitely looks like it hasn't been used in a while. Maybe we can add some planks. Cause I used some planks earlier when we were making that dam. So maybe we can use a few of those. Yeah, there's like a lot I could do. I'll figure, I'll have to watch some videos on YouTube to see like how you can incorporate something like that. Hmm. Now, where did I find those? Here they are. I just want to use some of these planks to make it look like they're sticking out of the building. Like, oh, I can't even use them to make it look like the windows have been boarded up. Yeah, we can use like a very skinny short one to make it look like the windows been boarded up because like the building's no longer in use. It's been condemned. I like that idea. Like so, just like put one there, then we can switch the access and put another one like higher up. Yeah, that looks really good, like having those Slight touches. Those slight touches of the extra boards and the boarded up windows make this building look more abandoned. That's really good. Now back to nature. Where was I looking at these hanging plants? Let's see here. Um, where was I looking at them? Here they are. I'm getting closer. Here we go. I just want to add some to this little peak here to make sure it looks like it's old. But yeah, that's why I'm thinking is like boarded up windows will really make this place look good like that. I know, right? It looks really cool. It looks like an abandoned sawmill facility. 
We have to add a few more buildings to make it complete, but I really like this idea of having this. Ooh. I want to keep... Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'll get to the point where the beavers get to put in, but I keep coming up with these great ideas. They could have a little dock that they would walk out on. I'm just trying to keep adding more and more because I, I, I really like this idea. Ah, I really like it. Like an old deck platform that they used to ride their boat out on and get and get pulled in with new shipments. Like that'd be a really cool idea. Oh my gosh! Ah, oh, I had so much fun. Like this is really fun. Ah. Oh. Okay, it's here. I need to make sure this is right in the right position to be like a little spot right there. There we go. And we gotta move this piece over here too. Oh man, I'm loving this. Okay, move that back in. And we need to move one to this corner here. And we need to move one to each corner of the end of the little dock. There we go. There we can like a little little boat platform that they used to come in on. I know, I'm really excited to get this habitat built because a lot of the time, if you have seen our other habitats, We've done some really interesting things to them, but we've never really attempted to add in any buildable elements to them. Like, we mostly just use nature. So I really like the idea of using building elements to give it some extra detail and make it feel more like it's been lived in. And I do agree, it's going to be really good for a tour. I, I really hope, like, because you can design tours in a game, I really do want to make a tour that is specifically for... Um, just each habitat type, so there'd be one that's just the habitat for this. Okay, it's here. I'm continent, we need North America, so help me with North American plants, because I need some, like, cattail weeds, if we have any. Yeah, cattail weeds. I just need to make, I just want to put some of these up by the dock. Raise them up a little bit. There we go. Just add in some little cattail weeds. Like so. Because it's a whole point of a dock. And I can add some lily pads too. Let's see if I can find them. Lil. Oh, there we go. Lily pads. And raise them up. Because usually these are also by the docks. There we go. Just to give it those extra details, we can put a little lantern on this platform. This is really cool. Yes, the beavers will like it. I'll make sure that I provide them with what they need. I'm more just designing the buildings first, and then we'll get into that, which my brother, he really hates it when I do that. But I personally think it's beneficial. What can I say? <laughs> There we go, get a nice lamp post. Oh yeah, those crooked angles actually look kind of cool. Okay, I don't think we have one, but... Boat! Nope. <laughs> uh, oh wait, may I go to all? Boat. We do! We have an East Asian boat, and we have, like, what is this, an Indian... Ooh, actually the Indian wooden boat would be perfect. Because it looks like a canoe. <laughs> yeah, but it's just a building game. Okay, it's here. Now, do we have, like, rope? Like, a rope I can attach the boat to. Not in this... If I get the Oceana... If I get it, the Oceana pack... Okay, we do have rope. It's, like, right here, curved. I need to hook the boat. Because I want to make it look like the boat's attached, despite not being used for, like, ever. <laughs> okay, we just put that there. And then we just move the canoe 
to make it look like it's attached. There we go. Now that's good detailing. I like that. Oh, a crashed boat. That'd be a good idea. Maybe we should put it more like down here. Like back when the waterfall was still a thing, it fell and crashed into the side of the river. That'd be a good one. Thanks for bringing that up, Memphis. <laughs> yeah, just added ring doorbell. <laughs> it is their house after all. <laughs> Okay, now I gotta start thinking of other images. Let me look up images of sawmill so I can get an idea for the other building. No, I don't need to shop for a sawmill. Ugh. Why is that the first thing that comes up? Building. There. Now show me what's gonna come up. Ooh, this one's nice. Well, that's like a train platform. Uh. Ooh, this one's interesting. I think I found our genius idea. And it's elongated, so it's even more detailed. Cool. Is it possible to form a waterfall in this game? Yeah, there's actually um, items for it. You would have, There's a specific item you would use to design that. Okay, it's here. What if we use brick for the next one? Yeah, I think that'll work well. Complement the rest of this. So people are just not going to be able to see this habitat. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Then we rotate. It needs to be one bigger. Needs to be one bigger. It's all about testing. There we go. Then it needs a second floor, which has two spots out looking here. And it has two spots that just go regularly across. Oh, one needs a peeking out. There we go. Yeah, that's looking good so far. Although it's, um, that's not right. It should not be hovering. Let me see if I can fix that. Smooth it out. Smooth it out. And then we'll just flatten the foundation, reduce the size on that. That way, so it's not floating. <laughs> Let's see. I just. And flatten it out, so it's just a beaver tail way to get down there. We don't need a floating building. <laughs> they could just look at the ring doorbell. I see the police officers. Quick, let's all hide. <laughs> okay, so I got about an hour of the stream left, which is good. I, I, I'm making a lot of progress on this whole new habitat. <laughs> oh my gosh, now I kind of want to add a ring doorbell. <laughs> uh... I wish I had that. Maybe there's a mod out there for it. <laughs> ah, that's too funny. Okay. Here we go. No, don't tell me. Aw, oh, man. This spot's not too far. I can fix it. It's here. It needs to be inside here, inside there. There we go. Fixed it. Just a minor change. At least somebody I picked the right one. I did. Hey, get back here. There we go. Okay. Then there's the overall roof, which, wait. This one still is wrong. And there's a certain way you gotta do the roof to make it work. So, I need a highly pitched roof on this side and this side. And I mean a lower pitched roof here and here. Okay, we'll fix this wall here, just so it's inward. There we go. And then we'll provide lower pitched roof down here. And lower pitched roof down here. And there is corner roof pieces. Now, we're gonna add windows and I'll add some fake doors. Like, I won't make it so they're accessible to this facility, but this one they can use as their home. <laughs> Ha ha ha.
<laughs> that house looks like a school. <laughs> it's more of a giant... I think this is where they would do, like... Looking at the pictures I saw, I think this is where they would take the logs and then cut them up. At least that's why I think. Don't quote me on that. I am not a... What would it be? Lumberjack? Yeah. Okay, I can't believe I blinked on figuring out the word for lumberjack. Oh, it just shows you my brain is always full of very many things. <laughs> okay, this is the roof piece we should use for these sections. <laughs> I don't even know why I have a fence that you can see through here. It's just like, where are the beavers? It's like a cartoon when you open up the door and it's a brick wall. <laughs> Kids here. There we go. I might have to get some of these pictures of this live chat. Dangerous fight. Who's fighting this time? Who's fighting? Whoa. There's a lot going on here. Hey. Hey, you two. Stop that. Hey. Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Hey. You're getting released. Hi, it's nice to see you and take care of a new person. <laughs> Just playing Plant Zoo and trying to make sure nothing falls apart while I'm trying to also build my dream beaver habitat. Because <laughs> animals can't stop fighting for some reason. And I feel like I, I have to be the parent like, Hey, if you don't stop fighting, like, I think I have to turn this car around. <laughs> Oh, that's not the right roof. There we go. And then we need this piece. And this piece. Then we need to put it all the way through so it matches. And there we go. That's what I was trying to build. Now we just need to add some windows and some doors. Put some other stuff on it. Living in a beaver paradise. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Technically, I live in... Well, I live in North America, so technically I live in Michigan. I think I have seen a couple of beavers, so... Especially if you go more north to the Upper Peninsula, that's where you'll definitely see a lot of beavers. Okay, ooh, these doors are all old and rusty. That's really good. Now add that detail we need. However, they also should not be... I don't think that's how doors work. They shouldn't be hovering off the side of the wall. There we go. <laughs> Get super. I need doors over here. Man, that wind is howling outside. It's so ominous. Okay, we can add some lights. Oh, so maybe an animal has matured, meaning it grew up. Uh, let's see here. Where is that light I found earlier? It was a wall light. It was like perfect. Here it is. I want to use this light here and here again. There we go. Good, good. Now, I want to use some bigger windows on this building over here. Like, taller in height. Let's see here. I want to use something good. Ooh, this would actually work out perfectly. And the white is actually the perfect color. With the brick is golden. Hey, I didn't say move it. Copy it. Okay, now we just take these two pieces and we copy them and put them all over the building. Okay, now we take these four pieces, copy them, move them down. And take these two pieces, copy them, move them over here. Copy them, move them over here. There we go. I think that's looking really good. <laughs> Beavers are cool. I, I think it would be perfect. Because, see, when Memphis brought up the idea of building a beaver habitat, and then eventually he brought up something about the idea of an abandoned house. Because we were building, I think it was the moose habitat. And I was like, when I heard that, we didn't build at the time. And I'm like, there's got to be something that could be perfect for an abandoned facility to have animals that would inhabit. And I'm like, the beaver habitat would have been perfect for that. So, here we are. Building a beaver habitat that is an abandoned sawmill. And what's interesting, though, is I think abandoned can, like, 
I can make like a very spooky building for the creepy crawlies, like the bugs and all that. I feel like that would be cool. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now all we need to do is add a bunch of weeds. Now let me find my fellow growing out of the wall weeds again. The sounds, it was making me kind of nervous. <laughs> what, with the lions fighting? Oh, that made me nervous, because I, I don't need it. What, what are people complaining about? Wait. Tickets are under... Okay, tell me how this makes sense. A guest going, the tickets are so cheap, and I hate that. Would you rather pay cheap ticket prices? What? <laughs> Do I need to raise prices even though I have unlimited money? What is with people? And free is not good enough for you? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Ugh, I can't believe people are complaining about prices being cheap. And you're lucky I don't raise the prices after you said that. Ugh. Okay, I'm thinking about like a little bit of a zigzag pattern coming down this one. I know it, obviously they would not have police tape in this in this kind of game, they would have it in Planet Coaster because, you know, amusement parks. But I feel like it would be cool to have some police tapes just be, like, condemned, like, by the city government and declared unsafe to be in. Because that's the whole point. It's supposed to be, like, Beavers kind of just took over this place after... We, we can even make up lore for this facility. Like, why did all the wood dry up? Did they see a creature? Did the Beavers take all the wood so it made it impossible? Yeah, there's like all kinds of story you could do to this building. Oh, I see something. This should not be hovering. There we go. And now we just add some uh, boarded up windows to make this look even better. But yeah, that's looking really good, having these old abandoned facilities. Oh, I need... I need to sneeze. Mm. Uh. I need to just get out my nose. Hmm. There we go. Better. Huh. Now where else are some props? I was thinking about using a Jeep. V. Oh, I saw it. One easy Jeeps. What's this? Fire pit. Interesting. Because I want to make it look like some of these Jeeps are overturned, like they're not been in use anymore. We could put one falling into the river to make it look like it. Somebody crashed it one night. And we can make it look like the load fell out of it. Okay, where did I find those wooden logs before? Let me look at all. Log. Log. I spelled log wrong the first time. There we go. We can just make it look like this entire shipment like fell out of the car when it crashed. Just put some smaller logs. Like, make it look like they're lying around, floating on top of the water. I feel like this would be very cool to have. Like so. That way it looks like the Jeep a long time ago crashed and just the logs fell into the water. Burnt down the building. 
Um, here it is, Ennis. It is 5.26 p.m. The lore of this place. <laughs> Maybe I'll make that YouTube short about, like, what caused this place to get abandoned. Why is there no loggers here? <laughs> that That's kind of cool. <laughs> if you guys want to come up with that, be my guest. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, it's under a wall, I remember. That's where we found those planks. There they are. Wait, where'd it go? I typed in WA on accident. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's see here. Spin this around. Tilt it up. There we go. Let me just move this into place. Move it out. Make this place look completely boarded up. There we go. Oh, that's too long. Don't need to use that piece. <laughs> Why did I move it that way? <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah, I could do a full video. That is true. Good idea. I'll just make a full video called The Lore of... Come up with the cool name later, Timber Yard. <laughs> I, I gotta come up with a name for it. <laughs> uh, there go. Up. Up. In. Over. Okay, there we go. And this one, I think we can just plane out board up. Uh, how many people are gonna fight? Come on, this is getting ridiculous. Like, what the heck? All right, whose childish fight I need to break up now? This better not be the same habitat. Where is it? Zebra. The zebras are fighting? <laughs> zebras fight for dominance? Ooh, that's a good one. I think that'd be a good idea. Thanks for the lore, new sun rays. Rise? That's perfect. I think I'll say it. that's actually a good one. Just be like, it had to shut down because it was being investigated. We'll send this guy out into the wild to fix that problem. There we go. That should fix our problem with that. Nobody should be fighting anymore. Any other zebras? Expecting offspring is not a problem. <laughs> okay, we're good on that now. Too bad I don't have a fake stand-up person, because if I had a fake stand-up person, I could put that and put some blue right around it and make it look like, oh, it's a ghost. If only I could find someone. If I ever find that, I'm definitely using that lore. Like, the whole point of like, there's a ghost that haunts this place. Legend has it, he still is there. Strange things happen at the Salmo. Cars won't start, animals go crazy, people's cell phones drop signal, the whole nine yards. That's cool. Oh my gosh, you should write an entire story about that. Like, you're getting some good lore there. It could be like all the... The reason why I had to abandon is because all the workers were just... Everybody, they, they tried to hire new people, but every worker ran off scared or just couldn't get hired because they were just too afraid to work there. No, no, I'm not spelling beaver right. B A V E R. Oh my gosh! Backspace. B E A V E R. There. Why is that so hard? Okay, let me check the zoopedia on them just so I can understand what is it that they need, like people wise. I think it's a pretty big group though. Uh, beaver. North American beaver. Let's see here. Well, it's pretty obvious where they come from. Uh, typically need two male bachelors, two female bachelors. Group is typically two to eight. Okay. 
So I guess pretty much just adopt all of them. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna put them in here just so we can get them started and then we'll put everything we need in for them. Cause I need to know what their terrain and plants are. But yeah, that that's a good lore. That could be why the car crashed. Like he was driving and all of a sudden it stopped for no reason. It could be the boats. Somehow the ropes got untied and they drifted away. And now it's officially just abandoned, never to be let anyone in ever again. Now I just need to wait for the beavers to arrive so I can start setting up the plants and all that. He's still there and people think they're, that he is the one of the beavers because Stove says he was making a lure against God, so God cursed him with a beaver spell. Oh, that's a good one. That's a lot of... Holy, I might have to make a video about this. I'll have to read that all back and make a video about it. Wow, you guys are good. Okay. Stop the presses. All right, let's do everything they need. Terrain is up first. So it looks like they could use a lot of short grass. Not as much long grass. They can use good soil. Don't need too much rock. Don't need sand. And they could. They could. They don't have to. They could live with snow. So first up, let's paint all this entire facility in short grass just to get that covered first. So just get all the short grass they need. So we start there. I'll add in the soil again after we get all the short grass. Now they need a little bit of tall grass, which I'll put more closer to the water. But first let's start with that soil. We'll put soil along the riverbed. Just so we have that. We can also put it along this little spot right here with the beaver dam. There we go. Put some sand in the bottom of the water there, just to add that. Get that right there. I'll make sure the beavers are happy in their new habitat. There we go. Add some on the ground underneath. We can add some long, tall grass near the dam. Add some long, tall, near grass near the edge of the river. Some in the corners of the buildings. Rumors spread among the workers of the ghostly presence haunting the mill, but the zoo pressed on. Yeah, and now we have a spooky mill that gives us extra money. <laughs> Just tell everybody, oh, it's haunted. But yeah, I think I'll figure out how to add an element like that. I'll probably add like some sort of spooky light that illuminates from the building. And it can only be seen at, with the naked eye at night. Let's add some rock here to make this like a little cave area. This could be like our little running gag story with our with the game. Like we can tell the story. That's a really cool idea. We can put some dirt paths to help look like how people would walk around this place. Or at least used to. Until everything went horribly wrong. I could put a lot of stumps around here too to make it look like the, where they log some of the trees. Here we go, add in like some secret paths around the place. This is gonna be really cool. I will read all those comments, let's see here. Let's read it all together with a good voice. <clears throat> okay. 
It was a wood factory back in the 1800s, storage and sawmill. It was abandoned because the owner was murdered. The zoo came in and bought the land. The story says the owner will still haunt the place. Strange things happen at the sawmill. Cars won't start. Animals go crazy. People's cell phones drop. The whole nine yards. Let's see here. With eager anticipation, the locals will purchase the red band in sawmill, envisioning a unique animal habitat nestled within the weathered walls. However, as workers began renovations, they encountered inexplicable consequences. Machinery would malfunction for no apparent reason, and tools would vanish only to reappear in odd places. Rumors spread among the workers of the ghostly presence haunting the mill, but the zoo pressed on. Determined to transform the site into a heaven for exotic creatures, yet Edgar's spirit refused to be ignored. His spect spectral form appearing to the workers, his voice echoing through the corridors. Nice. I should put like a, I might find like a light I can put into one of these windows and make it like glow so that way now you're like, wait, is that the ghost? And everybody will be like, oh my gosh, I think that's the ghost. Like that'd be like a really cool story thing. We got some heavy soil around here to illuminate the areas where they've logged. But yeah, good storytelling, you guys. You all deserve a round of applause for that. Great coming up with the story. I may have to make a short video just to explain the lore behind it so I can, like, you know, hype up the next stream when we continue this park. Rest of the spirits live in this sawmill. And it'll be a, and won't be a long time until they finally get come at peace. Man, that was good. <laughs> okay, I think their terrain's taken care of. Are you satisfied with your terrain? Obviously, we need some more coverage. How does terrain look? Terrain looks perfect, good. Now we need to satisfy their coverage with plants. Okay, so what continent do you like? Do you like north? Biome? I believe they like temperate. And aquatic. I'm not sure about that. What do you like environment-wise? Okay, they like, let's see, they like aquatic, continent, North America, biome, they like tundra, aquatic, grasslands, and, okay, not tundra, taiga. Okay, that should be good. Okay, it's all filtered. But yeah, I'll make a graveyard. I'll, I'll see what I can do, but I might, maybe it could be like, Secretly, they had to hide a spot for all the workers who passed away because they didn't want the word to get out that workers were mysteriously encountering those sad and deaths. Oh, that's such a good idea. You guys are coming up with some great ideas, and this is why you are, this is why I listen to you guys, because you're just coming up with these continuously amazing ideas on how to make the lore, the stories, how to give these habitats more than just looking like a random habitat that I happen to make for animals. Oh boy, there's the wind again. Let's see here, what else can I place in this area? That's a Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah, I can make a great video for that. I would definitely post it to the channel. I'd be like, the lore of still working on a name sawmill. <laughs> but yeah. I do like that whole idea of making this spooky story about the entire place being haunted and the zoo bought the old facility, like the land it was on, to convert it into a center focused on conservation and helping out animals, not knowing that the place was haunted. Like we were just like, oh, it's, pro it's probably like me and my bird being the zoo owners, it's like, oh, it's probably just one of those little stories that was made up to scare the local kids. Like, it's probably nothing. 
But yeah, it'd be funny if I could hook it up so the educators throughout the park would tell a story like, would be like, on certain nights, people can come to the park and they would tell a story about the mysterious happenings at this sawmill. That'd be really good. The Lord Edgar's Tree Mill, good one. That'll be perfect. That's the perfect way to do that. Awesome. Now we have our name. Yeah, I'm gonna tell my brother. I'll, I'll tell him to watch this live stream just so he can learn about all the lore that is behind this old abandoned sawmill. Like, people told us, don't go in there, yet we refused. Alright, let's see here. Add some fallen trees, make it look like they've fallen down after a couple of years of old times. But that's really good lore. I might have to do that to hype up the next time I play uh, Planet Zoo. I'll do a lot. I'll do a short video to hype it up by saying like Edgar's Tree Mill, and now I'll add some like spooky mood lighting and all that. That's a really cool idea. <laughs> too bad it would be it would be way too far from Halloween. I'll just be like, it's not Halloween. I'm doing this anyway. <laughs> Because it's cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's amazing. You guys are awesome for coming up with all that lore. Nobody really probably comes up with that with for zoos. Especially like spooky lore like that. They probably mostly just try to do something really friendly. <laughs> Right. I'll have to put that all out. Who knows? Maybe we'll get a movie deal. <laughs> I wish. I wonder if like teens would break into the park at night just so they could get a glimpse and be like, do you think he's still there? And it's like, I, I don't know. Like, do you think he still haunts the place? Well, let's go in. And then they like get really scared and like, ah, the place is actually haunted. Too bad I can't put a flickering effect. Well, I could check to see if I could put effects because I feel like it'd be really cool to put an effect on some of these lampposts like flicker at night. Can I? No. Uh, wait, automatic. Oh, oh, I could turn some of them off. Let's make some of them be off all the time just so it looks a little like spooky. Like why are some of the lights don't work at night? We can make it like some of them just don't operate at all. That's a good idea. There we go. Let me just add some stumps, make it look like areas they have sawed out. Went through, got some trees. Left some weeds behind. This is really good. I like this. But yeah, I like your guys' lore idea. Like, I feel like I want to make some more spooky apparitions around this area, if I can. Like, just add some weird lighting. I might be able to do it with this new world area light. I might be able to change the color on it. I think I'll make it so like it's embedded in one of these windows or maybe like make it at a door frame or something and make it look like can you see the ghost like you could sometimes see him at night. Hmm. Let's have him be on the dock like if you look closely at night you can see the ghost still on the dock. If I can only change the light on this thing. <laughs> Wait can I? Color editor maybe? Make it a light blue apparition.
Okay, let's see if that worked. All right. Is this thing at power? It does. Okay. I'm going to change it to nighttime and we're going to see if it worked. Let's see if I can make this better. We need to put something to illuminate. So, if I could put some fog around it, it'd be a good detail. Let me see what I can find for effects. Ambiance. Here we go. We can get some, like, fog or something. Okay, where are these different ones here? Dirt blowing, dirt falling, falling seeds, mist. Let's get a mist right there. Get to dead looks. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting somewhere. We can put some mist effects around this area. We can put a mist effect here small. Then we can put some other mist effects around this area just to add in some extra little detail. Make it feel like this area is a little spooky. Get to see how that looks. There we go, add some ambiance. Now all I need left is one more thing to really put all the snow falling. Smoke, that's what we might need. Let's try that. There we go, got some smoke. Now I just need to add something on top of that to make it look really spooky at night. There we go. Newspaper headline. Oh, yeah, it could be like the news started talking. Where did all the people go? They all just vanished. Oh, I can add also, is there a fire effect? Because if there's a fire effect, I need to use it on this Jeep to make it look like the Jeep crashed. Let's look at all. Is there a fire effect? Mm, 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 mm. I'm spelling it wrong. Let me look at everything. Fire. Oh, no. Okay, I can just make smoke. We'll just put a smoke thing. Okay, it's here. Effect smoke. Let's put a medium smoke effect on the Jeep to make it look like it crashed so it's smoking. There we go. Look at that. That looks cool. Like the Jeep crashed at night with smoke coming out of it. Now I just need to add something here to make it look like... Make it look like it's a ghostly apparition that appears at only night. If only I had like a clear person to put in there at night. Maybe we need to, I'll figure it out. But this will be like our little spot where the ghostly apparition of the old sawmill will appear. Get everybody blind to find Luke. Ah. <laughs> Can I make these things like only operate at night? Be great if I could put some controls on these things and make sure they don't get out of hand. <laughs> Let's see. But there we go, just add some nice smoke in our details at night. There we go, this will especially be illuminated at night, so it looks really interesting. Maybe the kind I made before you bought the part. Before you bought the part, local kids would go in there and some went missing, and most famous was Ava. That was reportedly killed by one, have one of her body parts, one by one. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, but nope. <laughs> we just were stupid and pressed on with purchasing an abandoned sawmill. There we go. Oh boy, it's starting to make me think like, what was our zoo thinking when we were purchasing this old sawmill? <laughs> That's the thing, we weren't. <laughs> we thought it'd be a fun little detail, and we thought since no one was using the land, we might as well use it for conservation purposes, considering all the trees were chopped up. How am I doing, by the way, beavers? I know we still need to get your food and enrichment. Good news, coverage is already good. They have enough hard shelter over here. So let me see what else I can find. Facilities. So we need enrichment and food. So let me get that taken care of before I continue. So let me look up uh, species. Here we go. Now it should be in here. It should be beaver. 
Let's see. I think it was called like the American North American Beaver or something like that. Yeah, here we go. I seem to be able to find their food and all that. Okay. We'll put their we'll put a feeding spot near the house so they live. What's this? Underwater plant feeder. Oh, that's a good one. Put that there. We can put one here. Now they need a water trough. We'll put that near the water just to give it that ambiance and making it look interesting. There we go. Got the feeding stations. All right, I don't think they need heaters and coolers. Now we need to get them interesting. Ooh, a spooky pumpkin ball. That's perfect for this kind of habitat. Okay, we can get a small ball, colorful. Rubber ducky, cute. What's this one? Beaver pool, there's a specific pool for beavers. Awesome. We can put that somewhere where there's not much water. We'll put it hidden over here. Just give him a little spot to like, hang out. Have some relaxation time. Put it up against the water here. Now for that crash canoe. Let's figure out a place for that. Oh, got some more comments. Newspaper headline about the zoo's sawmill specter or beaver abode. Zoo's haunted past raises questions amid child disappearances. Cool one. I could even like with since I use Canva, which is completely free, I could easily make fake newspaper looking headlines, basically stating stuff like that. Like we thought we could give this area some new life as it has never been given a proper chance to really explore itself. Due to everything that's happened here, it's best if it gets a second chance at new life. It could be like we had several people quit the project, which we are very sad in the bow, but we still pressed on and got everything we needed to make sure that this new habitat would be everything we ever dreamed about. And good news is guests seem to be enjoying it too. Too bad they don't have holidays in this game because I'd be like, imagine setting up like a really fun ghost tour. Funny thing is if I ever play Planet Coaster in a channel again, I could build a haunted sawmill ride and be like, have it be like, this ride was themed after the local zoo, as it had built its own version of it. And it had purchased the old sawmill, and be like, the park decided to ask for permission to build a spooky themed ride based off the old legend. It could be like at night, if you listen closely, you may hear the sounds of running chainsaws secretly out there. <laughs> Them still cutting the wood. They must do their work. It could be like the the man who died, the um, Edgar, who was really, it could have been like, he was murdered. No one knows who murdered him, but he was kind of a tyrant. Always demanding people work 24 hours a day and don't stop logging until the night came. Some believe that the workers, that they might have been a fed up worker. Others believe something, something evil lurked within the land. Ooh, some fall colors. That'd be perfect for this area. Oh, my brother's gonna love this habitat. And especially when I tell him, like, the story behind the habitat. But yeah, this is looking really good. I'm liking this. Found someone's head. <laughs> we could... It could be like a cover up like we had to basically like don't tell anyone what we found like this would be very detrimental to us. Just don't tell anyone. OK, like just keep this between us. Like I don't want like we have worked too hard to make this zoo and we want this place to be an area of conservation. Who knows? Maybe new life will make it better. But yeah, now we use it as part of the zoo to be like, and Halloween's we on Halloween or during October we do special stories of like, and everybody knew who, and everybody still questions where that monster could have been. Is he still alive today? 
Where's he out? To come and get ya! <laughs> Just like scare everybody. It's like, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love all the stories we are getting. Okay, now we need to make like a sunken boat. Like so. Just have it buried within the water. Like they went over the waterfall before the beavers built the dam. <laughs> this is looking really good. I'm liking this new zoo habitat. <laughs> Yeah, the legal battle erupts over Zoo Solomo. Corpse discovered, sparks controversy, and beaver ex habitat expansion. And there was legal action take place with drugs here until the disappeared. Yeah, like, it could be like there's so much bad things that happen at this place, and it still lingers. Like, there's an evil spirit still just roaming this area. I'll make sure to sum it all up into something. Make sure we don't get too, like, all over the place with the story. But I will make sure to go like, credited by my livestream viewers. <laughs> As they have given me the idea to do this lore. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Still got a few more minutes before I have to wrap up here, but I will add the last few details to this little spot area. There we go. Look at that. Now that's a habitat. I just need to add maybe some few more things off screen, but I personally love this habitat. This looks awesome. The abandoned sawmill whole detail worked. You guys did a great job of giving me these ideas for this. And personally, it turned out so well. This is perfect. Oh, I forgot to give him some food enrichment. I really should do that. Water jet. Now, nah, that's interesting. Let's just give him some slow feeders. Place those around the area. A water jet rock. <laughs> that's cool. And we can get um, a melon feeder just for fun. Sneak some over here. But yeah, that's our habitat. We have made... I think I might add a few more lamp posts just to be like... These were the old trails that people would use to get around easily. But it's been a while since they were used. And like some could be tipped over and fallen. Like they, without years of use, they just fell over. Like so. There we go. Yeah, it is a bad time for a zoo because all the legal action we have to deal with to make sure nobody regrets our zoo habitats. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. I'm, I'll am i probably add a few more things off camera, but this is our beaver habitat with everything essential needed to make sure that we have the perfect area and a perfect story involving some abandoned, mo abandoned sawmills. This would be really cool. Three diseased animals. Oh. Don't worry, I'll get the vet right on them immediately. What's going on over here? What's wrong with the zebras? Hungry. We're working on that. Yeah, it is 6 o'clock. Would you look at that? Well, I had a good time, you guys. Thank you for watching, guys. This was really cool. Please like this video so more people can see it, and subscribe to my channel if you are new and seeing my Planet Zoo content. I do do the stream every once in a while, and we're still expanding the zoo to make it really cool. If you want to know anything else outside of me, you can check out all my social medias down below, where I even have a Discord where we can even chat with other fans and have fun. And please, keep an eye out for a video, as I will be making something about that lore in the future. But yeah, feel free to check out any other videos on this channel. If you missed anything about designing this zoo, please head over to any of the other live streams. They're all there so you can see them. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Oh, we got some more headlines. Keep an eye out for a new video, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!
that wasn't 